four reasons why I think CNN is going to turn on Kamala Harris in the 2024 election. The first reason is to regain credibility as a news organization. Everybody pretty much thinks that CNN is not straight down the middle and that it is left of center. Yeah. But CNN is generally considered left. Yeah. Why do you say that? What, why do I say CNN is generally considered left? Uh, I think if, if you look at any sort of media survey of what is on the left or right, I think they would say, like, for example, Fox is on the right and CNN is on the left. Yeah. So that's what is it? Am I missing something here? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and so with Elon laughing there, that'll put me into this next segment of the current point where on CNN trying to regain credibility. Not only do people think CNN is left wing, people think CNN is a joke. It's been this moment where he has not been able to coalesce around a single attack line. I know you guys are objective over there that you just report the news as it is. <laughs> Oh, I know. CNN makes a... I know is that this, supposed to be a laugh line? I wasn't supposed to be, but uh, I guess it is. Um. Now, CNN has for a couple of years been trying to come back to the center, try to regain some of the public trust they lost when they went full Trump derangement syndrome. The strategy to right the ship over at the struggling news channel as, it's, as it sort of flounders in its ratings, tries to distance itself from the massive fail that was CNN+. Plus. CEO Chris Licht announced today that he has plans to steer CNN away from years of overtly liberal leanings more towards the middle. And so if CNN is actually even moderately serious about a shift back to the center, the emergence of Kamala Harris as the Democratic candidate gives them a perfect example to expose some of her more liberal positions. She was voted the most liberal senator. She just recently came out with this plan to get rid of price gouging, which to most people, to most economists, sounds very questionable, very left wing, and Kamala Harris's emergence as the candidate gives CNN a good chance to show to their viewers, hey, we, we're gonna criticize Kamala's record as well as Donald Trump's. The second reason I believe CNN is going to turn on Kamala Harris is that Kamala Harris is doing essentially zero media. She refuses to do any interviews or press conferences almost 30 days now. She hasn't done an interview. You know why she hasn't done an interview? Because she's not smart. She's not intelligent. And we've gone through enough of that with this guy, Crooked Joe. He didn't do interviews either. They kept him in his basement, and essentially they're keeping her in the basement the same way they kept her. They don't want to expose her to, like, a question, like... CNN, a media organization, is going to want a presidential candidate and potentially a president to do media, to give them access, to do interviews, to do debates, to agree even with interviews and other networks so CNN can comment on this. At least once, CNN has already brought this up to a member of Kamala's campaign. I'm sure this is not going to be the first time you've heard this question, but the Trump campaign is also going after the vice president for not doing enough interviews, for not holding a press conference. Uh, would it kill you guys to have a press conference? Why hasn't she had a press conference? <laughs> Listen, the vice president and Governor Walls uh, have been busy crisscrossing this country since. Do you mind if I cut in? I mean, you know, a campaign rally is not a press conference. Why hasn't she had a press conference? She's the vice president. She can handle the questions. Why not do it? Oh, we absolutely are going to do it. You hear her take questions throughout the Michael, rest of Michael, but one interview the, by the end of the, the end month. Of this month and throughout the rest of the campaign. I, I, I don't, I don't want to, you know, belabor this, but one interview before the end of the month. I mean, that's, that's not a lot. I mean, can you commit to a press conference before the end of the month? So that exchange may be a sign, I think it will be, of things to come if Kamala continues to duck the media. CNN, in just its interest, is not going to want that. They're going to want a candidate that gives them media access and gives many interviews. And not only that, the fact that Kamala Harris has not given an interview since essentially becoming the Democratic nominee, she also has not given a solo press conference. And remember, she's the current vice president. She's not given a solo press conference since December 2nd of 2023. And in that press conference, it lasted for 12 minutes and she only took six questions. So I don't know how CNN is supposed to be excited about this. It's almost like working against their own interest if they continue to let Kamala kind of hide and only give tough criticism towards Donald Trump. And now the third reason I believe CNN will turn on Kamala Harris, and it kind of blends in to that second reason of Kamala hiding. The third reason is money. CNN knows that the ratings were much better when the incredibly entertaining whether you like him or not, Donald Trump was in office. He created news headlines with essentially everything that he did. And 
it really is in CNN's interest from a financial bottom line perspective that Trump wins. Yeah, in January of 2021 and left office soon after. The media lost their treasure trove of content and suddenly they had nothing to talk about. It only took about 50 days for CNN to lose 1.6 million of their primetime viewers. That's a drop of 36% in only a few weeks. Even worse, half of the viewers in the key 25 to 54 age group tuned out, which means prices for advertisements also had to drop. And so as CNN here moves forward with strategy meetings, whether it be board meetings or just regular day-to-day -day meetings, I think it's gonna be incredibly difficult for them to continually ignore the, I think, indisputable fact that ratings will be better for the next four years if Donald Trump wins than if Kamala Harris win wins. And I know that's prop that is just a conflict of interest because their audience, for the most part, has been, this is CNN's fault, they've been trained by CNN to have more of a liberal leaning. Their audience is definitely more liberal. If you pull their audience, I'm sure the majority of them would want Kamala Harris to win, but... I think this puts CNN in a little bit of a tricky position because her audience probably wants Kamala to win, but many CNN executives probably realize that it would be better financially if Donald Trump won. And finally, the fourth reason I think CNN may turn on Kamala Harris is, I'm not sure that CNN as a network in general actually agrees with the politics of Kamala Harris, who historically has been pretty far left. And I'm not sure, I'm just going on the same thing that you're going on, the reputation of CNN, but... I think of CNN as a center-left network. Most of their hosts, like a Chris Cuomo in the past, or most of their hosts they still have now, maybe a Van Jones, I'm not sure they align exactly with Kamala Harris in terms of some of her far-left policies. And prove me wrong, like maybe Van Jones, maybe Chris Cuomo, even maybe uh, like Don Lemon in the past, maybe they do. I think of CNN as a center-left network, sort of a Nancy Pelosi wing of being pro-capitalist, but support some of the democratic issues, especially on social issues and stuff like that. And Kamala Harris and her pick Tim Walls, to me seem left wing or further left than the network in general. And this is a little bit of an opinion of mine. So let me know, like I said, in the comments, if you think that I'm wrong, but Kamala Harris for one was voted the most liberal Senator in the Senate when she, a few years ago. And here as president, this is a recent tweet from Kamala Harris, August 16, as president, I'll work to pass the first ever federal ban on price gouging on food. My plan will include new penalties for companies that exploit crises and break the rules. And we will support smaller food businesses that are trying to play by the rules and get ahead. This is a pretty intense position. Like many people are calling this price controls. I think I would say accurately. I don't know how you're supposed to interpret this, but to have this sort of position that you're gonna have a federal ban on price gouging on food, these um, grocers, many of them have like a 1%, 2%, 3% profit margin. They're not really the companies in the world or in America that have the greatest profit margin. This is, seems like a very radical position. And historically, these types of ideas just do not work. And Washington Post actually, in their opinion column says, when your opponent calls you communist, maybe don't propose price controls. I don't know how some of Kamala Harris's more liberal, more le I don't even know if you call them liberal, just more leftist policies are gonna play at the network. Tim Walls historically is very left wing. He has that comment where he says, one person's socialism is another person's neighborliness. I don't know if CNN's gonna agree with some of this stuff. I think there's a, definitely a chance that CNN is gonna come out in opposition of a lot of these policies. And so with that said, those are I think the four reasons why CNN may turn on Kamala Harris. Number one, to regain credibility as a news organization or as an impartial down the middle news organization. Number two, because Kamala Harris has been hiding from the media so far and CNN is in media. They want to have a candidate that they actually have access to. Number three, money, because when Donald Trump was in office, ratings were great at CNN. And finally, number four, I think that Kamala Harris has a real chance of being too left wing for CNN. They're gonna maybe perhaps just let MSNBC take that position of terms of being far left or further left than center. And CNN may try to fill the role of a centrist news organization, probably like most people would want CNN to be. So with that said, thank you for watching this video. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments. Have a good day.